I'm Alan Patterson. I've been in the leadership development and executive coaching field for over 40 years, and I've seen some major changes in how people are defining success, and I want to give you five distinct differences that I've seen. Number one, far and away, is that people are defining success based on what's critical and important to them. This is intrinsic motivation, which is much different than the type of motivation organizations have used for a couple of hundred years of uh, salary and bonus and prestige and power and status. What you find the newest generation coming into the workforce looking for is really preferring to have something that's meaningful as opposed to thinking that they have to climb the corporate ladder. Number two is that success is based on relationships, not individual achievements. Well, how is that possible? It's relationships that help you, one, discover what's critical and important to you, and two, is to help open up opportunities that you may never have thought of. And as a result, the nature of the people that you surround yourself and the context you create is very critical to your success, as opposed to thinking that someone else is going to do that for you or that the structure of the corporate ladder is so secure that you just simply have to achieve in advance. That's proving not to be the case in this day and age. Number three is that success does not follow a straight line. Uh, today, you find many people that are taking nonlinear paths because they're not worried about getting to the top. They're, they're more concerned about finding work that is really interesting and excites them and motivates them. And, and you say, well, what does this mean? You quit a, your day job and you go to your hobby? No, not necessarily. This isn't about switching out for something altogether different. This is about surrounding yourself with people that help put meaning and purpose into in your job and into your life as well, uh, that show you where these new opportunities exist. Number four is that success is about growth, not perfection, and not worrying about failure. Failure is just part of the game. Uh, people with a growth mindset don't expect to be successful all the time, and they don't define themselves when they fail as failures. They just understand that this is another opportunity to learn, and learning is very, very important in professional development. It seems to be a big attraction among professionals that want to advance their knowledge, but they want to do it in such a way that they're with people that they find exciting. And finally, number five, which is very big, is that success happens because you own your career development. It's not that someone else is going to do this for you because they're not. Companies are trying very hard to change their cultures, but when it comes to who is going to be most responsible and care most about your career development, that's going to be you. Those are the five changes that I see.